Hi guys, I'm Kyle with Aficionado Coffee Roasters, and today I'm going to teach you how to brew a pot of coffee using the Chemex brewing method. Some great things about the Chemex is that you have a much thicker filter than other manual pour over methods, which keeps a lot of the oils and sediment out of the coffee that you might get in other methods and produces a much cleaner, crisper cup of coffee. It also allows you to brew a larger batch size than other pour over brewing methods. So if you're with a group or have some friends over, it's a great alternative to the V60 or the Kalita. What we'll need today to brew a pot of Chemex coffee is a kettle with water just off the boil, your ground coffee, your Chemex, a Chemex filter, and a scale. The first step to brewing your Chemex is to take the filter. You'll see that the filter has four square panels in it. You wanna pry back or, or pull back one of the panels and place the filter inside of your Chemex with the three panels lined up with the spout in the front and the single panel in the rear by the handle. You're then going to add some water to your filter. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna rinse out the filter. It's also gonna heat up the Chemex itself so that we're brewing our hot coffee into a hot vessel. You're gonna to wanna to dump out the water that you just added and replace the filter, ensuring that it has a nice seal around the top of the Chemex pot. We're gonna go ahead and add 42 grams of coffee to the Chemex. And we're gonna give it a shake in order to level the bed of coffee grounds. Uh, what that does is it provides a more even extraction during the brewing process. I'm gonna tear my scale and I'm gonna add 80 grams of water to the coffee grounds and this is gonna create a bloom. What's happening here is gases that were built up during the roasting process are allowed to escape the coffee during the bloom process, you'll see that the coffee grows. You might see some bubbles rise to the surface of it. By letting the gas out early on in the brew, we create a more even extraction throughout the brewing process. So we're gonna let this bloom for about 30 seconds and go ahead and begin the brew when you see the, the bloom begin to deflate. So after you see the bloom begin to deflate, you can go ahead and add more water to your coffee. You wanna bring the level of the coffee grounds just below the rim of the Chemex. You always wanna pour in a circular motion going from the inside to the outer edges, making sure that the coffee is evenly wet. This whole brewing process takes four minutes. So over the next three minutes or so, we wanna keep adding water until we get up to a 600 grams total. And we wanna keep the level of the coffee towards the top of the Chemex brewing vessel. When you reach 600 grams of water, put your kettle to the side and allow the coffee to draw down through the filter. When your timer reaches four minutes, your brew is complete. You're going to go ahead and discard both the filter and the grounds, and you're ready to drink your freshly brewed coffee. Saludos.